The last thing that I need to do to be successful in assignment one is ensure that I can export this video as an SWF file. I've been saving my video along the way every time I add or subtract a new component. I've got three layers, which is pretty good. I've got three objects on my screen, including a symbol on my sun layer, a background component, and an imported flower. To have this movie play from line 1 to line 40, I'm going to need to export it. To choose export, we click under File and Export. We don't want to export as an image, as that would simply take the screenshot from the very frame that our scrubber is on. In this case, it would take the 40th frame. We would rather export it as a movie. Once we select movie, you'll notice that it brings up the SWF file type instead of the old FLA file type. On Windows, it will often bring up different export preferences. You need to make sure that you choose just the basic preferences and that you're choosing an SWF file. If we click save and save this to our H drive, it will go through the process of asking us whether you want to save it as a different version or a different load order, different action script type, you can simply go ahead and choose the standard features. So click OK. We'll get into changing these a little bit later. Once it is successfully updated, we should go and have a look to see if in our desktop we notice this file. Now I saved the file to my BTT flash assignment and you can see assignment 1 Gregoris SWF is there. That's the file that I should upload when I'm ready to submit my project. I strongly suggest that you save this to your H drive and then upload it to me via the LMS. That's all you have to do to be incredibly successful at this project.